you know, I read, I looked up the definition of forgiveness, and forgiveness is to. Stop feeling angry towards someone, and um, I just, you know, in that moment, I thought, "This God, God is just, He just is always loving. Maybe he never, He's never even, you know, in a sense, He never even forgives because He never stopped. He was never angry at you. He was just. Um, so I just really felt like God's love so deeply. And today, you know, I, I feel like this topic, forgiveness from what I've experienced in the last month, has really been a way to experience that kind of love. So that's that's why I want to share about forgiveness today. So has anyone here ever been uh, upset at somebody? <laughs> um, come on, everybody, let's go. Participation award. All right, great. Um, upset at somebody, or, you know, like, I mean, I mean, it happens all the time with me and my wife. I, I get upset at her all the time. And um, does anybody have that? Uh, <laughs> not with my wife. <laughs> I can't, I, I would be surprised if people get upset with her. Um, yeah, you know, you know, it's, it's amazing. Like, I can't even, you know, you can't even, what, what happens when you get upset? You can't think straight. You're just, ups, you know, like, upset. Your mind, your mind is just stuck, right? You're stuck. I'm like, you know, Omari oh just should have done the dishes, you know, earlier. Or, um, you know, that's what I think, you know. But that's some of my judgments. Um, or, you know, and it's like, I can't even think about other things. You know, we're just, we get stuck. We, we get, you know, you feel irritated, right? What else? What's it like when you're upset at somebody? Impatient. You're right. Impatient. You're right. You're right. Confused. Confused. Yeah. Can you say more about that? Well, um, so when you're upset, you can't think straight. Yeah, right. And exactly. then your mind is like distorted and confused. It doesn't work, right? It exactly. It doesn't function yeah. at the level you want it to. That's right. Um, who can who can connect with that? I I totally agree. Yeah. Um, yeah, and not only is your relationship with that person affected, right, but everybody, right? I mean, all, all, all kinds of stuff. I can't, you know, I can't get things done. I mean, you know, I can't do things for church. Or I can't, you know, focus on work sometimes if I'm upset with somebody, right? So, um, you know, as an example, I I just finished I just finished I just finished up with some conference calls. Um, I'm in you know, I'm in my room a um, couple couple days ago, and it's around ten o'clock at night. And the day before, and actually for a couple days, I had been I have been talking to Homari and expressing how important it is that, uh, for me, that we go to sleep, you know, by like around 10.30 or something like that. So, so I finish the conference calls, I walk out of the room and I see Homari sitting, sitting down, she's uh, sitting on the couch and she's, you know, we have this brown couch and uh, she's sitting and on her phone and I get, a, I get a little bit annoyed already, and then I go, because I'm judging her for being on her phone, and uh, rather than working or doing something, and then I go into the kitchen, and then I see that the kitchen is, you know, this is back to the dishes thing that I have to mention. You know, the kitchen has a, bit about a lot of dishes, and there's dishes in the sink, and dishes on the, uh, there's, pots and or not their pans with a little bit of you know egg attached to the bottom of the pan and whatever we cooked and uh, some 
dish containers, and I just got really upset, you know, and I, I thought, um, it, you know, I thought, doesn't, like, doesn't she know that I, you know, I was just upset with her, I'm like, doesn't, doesn't she know that I want to go to sleep early, and, and uh, we need to do the dishes before she goes, we go to sleep, and, you know, that, that's what I was thinking, right, and it's like, all of the great conversations I had and the conference calls that I was just on, you know, I heard a great testimony from somebody, or uh, actually I was talking to, I was talking to some other young pastors and hearing um, what they're, you know, got to meet some new people, all of that is just gone, right? I mean, like, now I'm just thinking about stupid dishes. <laughs> so, that's, that's the kind of reality of you know, what we hold on to, um, you, know, you know, and if this is a simple example, like a small thing, right, but we have much, much bigger things too, right, that we, that we hold on to, and, um, you know, it really affects everybody, right, it affects us a lot, right, it affected me, I mean, Omari barely knew I was upset, she's just happily there, you know, relaxing, but I'm, I'm like all stressed out. You know, it's, 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 it's funny, right? It's kind of, it's kind of, you're like inflicting pain onto yourself with this, with the anger, right? So, so what can we do about it? Um, you know, actually, actually in that example, uh, I, it, I'm proud of myself. What I did was I, I went into, I, I just was like, okay, you know, I, I, call, I tried to calm myself down, I walked back into my room, and I started thinking, this one technique that I learned, which is trying to take 100% responsibility for everything. And it really is liberating, right? you know, and I, I, I thought about, okay, because I'm just saying, I'm like, what could I have done? What could I have done to, you know, to avoid the situation. You know, what could I have done to, because I was annoyed about the dishes and I want to go to bed. Like, that's the end goal. And I want us to, you know, be able to go to bed together. And I want Omari to be happy. She likes the dishes done, so I want the dishes to be done. So what could I have done? And I just thought about, I was able to, somehow I was able to switch. Oh, I could have communicated with Omari and said, honey, you know, I'm not going to have, you know, I really would appreciate it if you did the dishes while I'm on the calls tonight so that we can go to bed. I could have said something nice to her like that, or, you know, I thought of something that I could have done, and then I felt like, okay, next time I can do this, you know. So that's something that, that that's one way that we can kind of let go of and forgive other people, is think about how can we take responsibility for things. Um, I, uh, in the marriage course, they talk about a step, a three-step process to healing, right? Um, so, is it, sorry, is a marriage course funny? Was that, no, I was just telling you, does that mean you did the dishes? <laughs> oh, you want to hear it? She goes, no, no. I don't even remember what happened, actually. I don't know what happened, I do Um, that's a good question, I guess, I should have, I should have said that. Let's just assume I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really responsible. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. I don't remember, but if I did, um, but it, it ended well. That was to say, it ended well, and uh, all was well. Um, now, so to so the marriage course about another. You know, the marriage course is a one had a very nice, very clear process about healing, right? And it's three steps. First of all, is identifying the hurt. Identifying clearly what is it that, you know, you were hurt by or you might have hurt somebody else, right? Identify what it is, right? You can, you can do it yourself, reflect, write it down. And actually, I want to do that today. I want to do that, you know, just have us some time to write some stuff down. So if anybody could help in a few minutes, do we have paper? Is that already there? Yeah. Thank you. So, identify the hurt 
and uh, you know, you can write it down. You could just think about it and try to try to narrow it down. And then the second thing is, and then of course you have to communicate it. Right. So the second thing is. Um, so it depends on the size. So once, anyways, the three points are identify her, apologize, and then forgive, right? Or, um, so if you are asking for, if you are asking for forgiveness, you say, you know, I, I'm sorry, I probably, you know, you could just immediately apologize and identify the hurt in one sentence and say, I, you know, last night when I did do the, what, what is something that I, um, anyways, I'm going to share an example where I did it, where I asked for forgiveness. You know, I didn't do this, and I'm sorry, you know, very simple. You identified I didn't do something, and that might have hurt you, and then I'm sorry. And then, you need, then there's another step from the other person, which is, and you can ask, can you forgive me, or will you forgive me? And then that person's turn to forgive. So it's both sides have to participate. So just to um, just to share an example. <laughs> you know, we did this, we did this, we went through this session of the marriage course, which is a uh, you know, great recommend that we'll be doing another another uh, round in the future so you can sign up if you want to do it yourself and during the course um, we take have a chance to you know between the uh, spouse you know but you can do this with anybody but between the spouse what what are some things that you have been hurt that your spouse did? And, uh, and so I wrote down, you know, I wrote down something that has been, you know, that's been on my, that's been on my heart for a long time, and uh, that's hurt me. And I shared with Omari, you know, Omari, when, you know, when you did this, and when you've done this in the past, it's really hurt me. And, um, you know, I, um, it wasn't an easy, it was anyways. It was, I was, I said, you know, I said, it hurt me, and I was upset, and, um, yeah, Omar is sitting there, Omar didn't say, say so much, she was listening, um, she, you know, and, and, and we ended up keep going with the course, it was a, it was a heavy, you know, it was a heavy topic. Um, afterwards, so that's where I identified the hurt, right? And um, afterwards, Omari, in the evening when we got home, Omari came to me and she said, Josh, you know, during the course, it was hard for me to listen to you because, you know, it was very, it was heavy for me to hear that. Um, but I'm really sorry for, for that, for what I did, um, for that thing that I did. And, Yeah, she just said, I'm really sorry. And I, I understand how, I can understand how I hurt you. And, uh, and then I said, you know, I, I just said, I, I forgive you. And, uh, you know, it's amazing because I actually felt something let go at that moment when I said, I forgive you. Right? So that's an example of the process. So, we're going to, Today I want you to write down, um, uh, make your paper in half, so put a line somewhere, and then on one part start to write down, um, write down some things that you've done that you think might have hurt somebody. You know, and I'm sure you know it could be zero, it could be a thousand. I mean, there's many different things. Um, and then on the other side, I want you to write down some things that you've been hurt by. And you don't don't you don't need to show anybody this. It's just for you. But I just want to make this really real in our life to get the most out of it today. So take just like three minutes to do that.
So where you where you think you might have hurt someone, or where you've been hurt. And this can be for anybody. This can be for anybody. If you want to focus on your spouse, that's great. That's totally fine. So please take three minutes for that.
next time I'm not gonna, you know, I'm just gonna take one bag at a time and not try to do something smart or something, whatever, but try to do something. And, um, and she, I said, I'm sorry. And yeah, Omar said, okay. You know, and yeah, she, she just, she was fine. She, she, and she accept, uh, accepted that. And, she appreciated that. So that's that's a way that you can try to, you know, ask people for forgiveness. It's not about, you know, key point that's made is not about making excuses. That's really key, you know. Forgiveness is not ask apologizing is not um, you know I I took the clothes I you know I had no, you know, I put the clothes out there, but I didn't have any choice because the young man needed to go to the bathroom, so I had to go, you know, I had to go in, you know, and I had to leave them there. Or, I mean, I, I did make excuses, honestly, before before I apologized. I said, it's Carrie, like, I wasn't expecting somebody to steal the clothes, right? But that's not apologizing. You know, that's not, at least that's not what I'm talking about. You know, um, I really want you to take responsibility for, for, your part, it's always two ways, right? But take responsibility for your part in what happened and how you hurt somebody. And it's worth it. I mean, you, I felt liberated. Um, and forgiving is also liberating as well. You give the person an opportunity to forgive you, which is actually really awesome. So, that's, that's an example of how to ask for forgiveness. Another big point is, you know, when, you know, you know, we can, this was a very deep point. Forgiveness is a choice. So, you know, there's never going to be you're, you're, it's not like many people wait and they think, you know, they think, um, you know, I'm waiting to feel like forgiving. Or, you know, for example, you know, for example, when, um, anyways, it, I don't, I guess I don't have a good example, of, but you, it's a, it's, it's not like you're gonna feel like that didn't happen, like something didn't happen, right? That um, Omar didn't do the things in our relationship in the past that hurt me. You know, those things aren't going to go away. Those things are there. Whatever the person did to you that might have hurt you, it still still happened, right? But you can choose to forgive them. You can choose to love them. I mean, forgiveness is love, right? Um, just like God's waiting to love us. You can. It's it's really about initiative. It's really an active thing, not a passive, um, not something passive. And we, there might be cases where you'll need to choose to forgive every day for for a person or for um, you know whatever it is. So. I, I think it's so connected to, it's it's just like love, you know, loving is also a choice that we may choose every day for our spouse, for our members, our fellow members here, um, for our parents, for our children, right? It's not easy to continue to choose to love your child, especially in a difficult moment. So forgiveness is a choice, is another huge you know, big point I, again about around taking 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 that ownership to forgive that person. Um, I want to read some words from True Father about forgiveness. When Jesus was crucified, Roman soldiers pierced him. And Jesus prayed for his enemies, Father, forgive them, for they know not <clears throat> what they do, Luke 23, 34. At the moment of death on the cross, Jesus was so earnest in forgiveness 
his very last act was motivated by his love for his enemies. And he was the supreme form of giving, a paragon of love. The example of Jesus Christ is the absolute standard for all mankind. Just imagine an entire nation composed of Jesus-like men. What would you call it? Uh, Judas, right. The kingdom of heaven on earth. He could be nothing less. 1973, October 20th. This is that's your father's word. So, you know, that's you know, the way I actually when I read that, I was thinking of back to my experience while I was driving when I was praying to God, what should I talk about? And God said, I love you. I was thinking, like, that's what's available for us. You know, really, we can be those people. We can create that kind of love and channel good. It's right there, right? It's already coming all the time. God's there shining his sunlight. Sometimes we have umbrellas up of resentment. <laughs> Anyone know? Resentment umbrellas, but God's continuously there, and all, all, if we can just, you know, reflect that love, receive the love, right, breathe, listen, and, and then share that love through one of the ways that this is the, this is what I want to ask you for this week, is through forgiveness, right? Share that love through forgiveness, forgiving the person next to you asking for forgiveness and forgiving ourselves. I think that we can really move towards that standard of Jesus, of true Father, of Chanel Go. And yeah. No, I see. So and then for this week I want everyone to um I want you to, to take from your list, well, even, even now, actually, please look at your list, and if you have something on the how you hurt somebody column, um, to, to pick one of them and to ask the person and just apologize and take responsibility for your part in that and apologize to one person. So if it's not on the list, that's okay, but apologize to one person this week and ask for forgiveness for that. Good? Alright, praise God. opportunity to connect to you, to be silent, and present to your love, Heavenly Parent. Heavenly Parent, sometimes, sometimes we're blocked or we don't feel your love, Heavenly Parent, but this week we want to practice forgiveness, Heavenly Parent as an access to that, to that experience, to having that kind of common base of love with you, which then opens up our hearts, Heavenly Parent. As we love others, as we accept love, we can feel your love more as well. Heavenly Parent, thank you for the boundless love of you, of our true parent, of our true parents, and Jesus, Heavenly Parent, and so many other people in our lives and in history Heavenly Parent, we want to be one of those saints as well <clears throat> in our community, in our family. Thank you so much for this morning again. We pray that you can join us, be each one of us, in each of our family's lives today and this week. And I report this in all of our names. In my name, Joshua and Amari Angelucci, a blessed central family. Amen.